Sean Hurdley, sum up that for us. Uh, disappointing. Uh, we've had words at the end of the game, like as well, where we we probably weren't at our best first half, but still end up coming in like at one nil. And we found that maybe a couple of times, Gwyn, to be honest, this year. Um, you know, they've had a one on one opportunity. They've had one cleared off the line. We've obviously scored a, a really good goal after a good passage of play. Um, and, you know, maybe maybe do feel a little bit lucky at half time. But, you know, you've got something to defend. Um, you know, we wanted to go out uh, and, and, you know, nick another one, uh, you know, to be quite honest. But, you know, it wasn't to be. But when you're analysing the goals that we've conceded, they're probably poor from our point of view. Um, you know, obviously, we, we can see the seven and two games now after being... On the crest of a wave, I think. Like, really, to be fair, um, you know, I, I was asked by the by the Scorial boys about the the manager of the month curse, um, and you know, sometimes sometimes that can hit you. But um, you know, it's the players that have got me in that position. Um, you know, we plan meticulously every single week for every team, um, and we, we got. I, I think we rightfully got what we deserved. You know, I think we were second for like sort of less than twenty four hours. However, we were up there and we can we we, we were competing, but. Um, you know, we don't we don't want to use the the 72 hour changeover as an excuse because I felt the 15 20 minutes towards the end of the game where we're chasing it, I thought we played some good football. Um, I think we were in there half for quite a lot, but didn't really test the goalkeeper an awful lot. Um, and yeah, unfortunately, it's a it's a disappointing night at the office. Unfortunately, you've picked out a few positives. Mm. Jamie Breeze again, he always works hard for the team, mm. but he has been scoring the goals recently, which possibly wasn't wasn't true at that regular basis last season yeah we we had a chat at the start of the year as well and um you know it wasn't necessarily digging out the forward players but um we needed uh, a bigger return uh, not necessarily a better one because like you said uh, there Gwyn, um you know breezy the, the work he gets through in a team for any neutral always noted it and they'll always notice that um but yeah it, we needed uh, you know what the, the target was you know they all had obviously like their figures from last year and it was just to not necessarily double them but add two to like say the, like the assists and add two to the goals um, and you know that would have put us in a, in good stead because I think from last year if I remember rightly I think we were the fourth fourth best sorry defensive record but I think we we're about eighth highest scorers so you know to compete in the top six um, you know you need goals from all over the place you know Breezy takes massive pride in that as does Kai, you know, as does Daz, you know, they, they all want to get on the score sheet. Um, but it's a team effort, you know, we, we need to be, uh, you know, providing the opportunities. And lately, you know, we've been scoring maybe the odd goal and, you know, defending very resolutely. But like I said earlier, Bryn, you know, it's, it's seven in two games and that's a little bit uncharacteristic from our point of view. So uh, it will be addressed this week, you know, a good week in training and then uh, we'll welcome, welcome uh, Carmarthen um, a week tomorrow. Carmarthen uh, had a goalless draw against Aberystwyth uh, this evening, so they're, so they're yet to win the game this season in the JD Cymru Premier. Yeah. Is that a good or a bad thing from a Carnarvon perspective looking ahead to next week? Um, I think it's a bad thing really, to be fair, because I think when teams you know, do, do get off the mark, um, it gives them, you know, sort of like that boost. And, you know, we, we found out the other week against Aberystwyth that it was a tough game. But, you know, every game is tough, Gwyn. And uh, we'll be going into that, um, you know, as if it's a, a TNS, as if it's a Koniski. Similar to, similar to tonight against the Druids, you know, they've had, um, you know, a, a little bit of misfortune, like in a way, especially at home. But, you know, it's a great, great set up here. You know, it's always good to come up here. And uh, they fully deserve their victory tonight. Uh, you know, like I said, we've had words. Um, We've had words in the changing room. Um, no one sort of like come back at me. So I, you know, for, for once, I think I'm speaking sense. Um, you know, I might get one or two text messages over the weekend. But you know, we're an open and honest group, and uh, you know, my phone's always on. If, if players want to discuss certain things, they can dis uh, discuss certain things with me. Uh, slightly depleted, but I'm certainly not using that as an excuse. You know, Nathan Craig, Mike Pearson, Joe Williams, Gaz Evans, all missing. Uh, but you know, they all uh, sort of come back into contention next week. Um, and yeah, you know, we, we've got to dust ourselves off. You know, it's a bit of a weekend wrecker. Um, but yeah, I've got, uh, got a choice of games to go to tomorrow, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do yet. At the end of the game, you'll normally have a chat with us, uh, you know, for, for Weber and Jonah's podcast. You'll have a word with the Scorio boys. But you'd also do stuff for the Carnarvon Town mm. um, social media platforms as well. But uh, Paul Evans was uh, unfortunately unable to be here tonight. Yeah, you know, it's, it's two games now. And, you know, Paul, I don't think he's missed a game. So, you know, it's probably on behalf of the first team, uh, you know, obviously on our management and everyone connected with Carnarvon that, you know, we wish him a bit of a speedy recovery. I know he's gone through a bit of a bad time at the minute. Uh, you know, unfortunately, we haven't got, got a result, a positive result to send home to him. Um, but no, we wish him 
all the best and yeah the, you know the place isn't really the same without him to be honest because he does a great job uh, media wise he's still uh, on the scrounge for a, for a camera um, so I don't, I don't know what he can do for that uh, to be fair we might need a bit of a whip round in the bar afterwards but no like you said he, he does a great job for us you know the, the, the interviews and stuff like that that he does and you know the media coverage is fantastic so yeah we wish him all the best